What's up guys? How is your 2021 going so far? In Canada, it doesn't seem like any different what we had in 2020. It's all same. COVID, lockdown, everything the same. I hope you guys are doing good. By the way, this is Deepa Parma and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to learn about a cool whip transition. People use it all the time and actually it's quite common in tutorial videos as well. Just like this one. I use it all the time. Well, let's jump onto our editing tool and do some editing. So here we are in Premiere Pro. I already have two footages side by side, which I'm going to use in this demonstration. The first effect that we are going to use is the slide. So go to the effects panel and search for the slide. Here it is under video transitions. Now drag and drop it between the two clips. Click on the effect and come to the effect controls. Here you have it. Now make sure its alignment is center at cut and change the duration from 106 to 02. We need it to be quick therefore taking a short duration. Now play the video. So slide is happening and it's happening quite fast and that's what we want. But it's visible quite a lot and doesn't give a smooth look. So we will add some blur to it. Therefore, here comes the next step. So now create an adjustment layer either by going to file, new and adjustment layer or simply do it from here. Click it. I'm good with the settings. Hit OK. So we have our adjustment layer. Now let's drop it above the clips. So first, come in the middle of the two clips, go two frames left and cut, now again come in the middle and go two frames to the right and cut. Well we are done with the adjustment layer. So now it's time to add another effect. For that, go to the effects panel and search for directional blur. Drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. Now go to the effect controls again and look for directional blur. So first go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and hit the toggle animation for blur length. It will add a keyframe with zero blur length. Now go to the middle of the two clips and add another keyframe. But this time change the value to around 150. And finally, go to the end of the adjustment layer and click the reset parameter. It will add another keyframe with a default value that is zero. Basically through the adjustment layer, we are moving from no blur to blur in the middle and then back to no blur. Now let's play it. No, that's not what we wanted. Blur is coming in a vertical format. Let's make it horizontal by changing the blur direction from 0 to minus 90. Now let's play it. There you go. Well, we can make the transition more smooth by following a couple of more steps. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. So for that, Let's go to the effect controls, select the starting keyframe of directional blur, right click and hit ease out. Now select the last keyframe and do ease in. And finally right click on the middle keyframe and hit auto bezier. Now when you will play the video, it will be much smoother in action. We are done with the transition part, but here comes the last and important step and that is to add this sound effect. So let's add a whoosh sound effect while the transition is happening. Whoosh sound that I'm using here is from Epidemic Sound. I have added their link in the description below. Let's keep it in the middle of the two clips. Now play it. 
and there you have your cool wave transition i hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was in any way give a thumbs up or leave a comment and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one until then bye bye